Cast down doubt. Matthew 14, verses 28 to 32. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, come. Peter had come down out of the boat. He walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind was, saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? They got into the boat and the wind ceased. We're talking about imaginations and how uh, impactful imaginations are on us. Uh, in this particular incident that we read in Matthew 14, you know, as Peter had received the word from the Lord, the Lord spoke to Peter and said, Peter, come, you can, come. So Peter walking on the water, he's going to Jesus. He's doing well because Jesus gave him the word. He's looking at Jesus. Jesus himself is walking on the water. It's a great source of encouragement, inspiration to Peter. The master's doing it, I can do it. The master's giving me his word. I'm walking on that word, I'm walking on the water. Everything is fine. But he takes his eyes off Jesus and he begins, to look, he begins to look at the waves. He begins to listen to the intensity of the sound of the wind. And immediately he begins to doubt and he goes, begins to sink. Now, uh, we can, you know, uh, try to picture this. Uh, the, the, Peter's whole imagination must have been gripped with pictures of him just sinking down and going down to a watery grave. He must have imagined himself going deep down uh, into the bottom of the sea. Uh, and all these things, these pictures could have just, you know, come into his mind, causing him to doubt the very word that Jesus gave. And so when he cried out, the Lord pulled him up and Jesus asked him, why did you doubt? Why did you doubt? You see, these imaginations that come into our mind, which the enemy interjects into our mind, are intended to cause us to doubt the Word of God. You know, many times uh, there are imaginations that come. God has given us a promise, and the imagination is a, the exact opposite of the promise. God said He'll protect you. The imagination of, you know, you being in a bad accident grips your mind. God says He'll provide for you. Imaginations of you being broke, without money, starving to death, come to your mind. God has promised He will bless you and prosper you. Imaginations of you failing and becoming a miserable failure and, and uh, you know, just r rotting away in life begins to fill your mind. So what happens? The imaginations that the enemy inter interjects our mind with are intended to cause us to doubt the Word of God. And that's why we must cast down the imagination. Put it down. Say, no, I'm not going to accept that imagination. It's, that imagination is not real. Uh, that The Word of God is truth. The imagination is only causing you to doubt. So what do you do? Think the Word. Speak the Word. Cast down that imagination. Say what God has said in His Word. Hold on to that. Cast down the imaginations that are causing you to doubt the Word. Let's pray. Lord, we thank You that Your Word is truth and your word is reality. We reject imaginations that cause us to doubt what you've promised for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.